What's up guys, Drummer Brad here once again, coming at you with a review of the new Nonpoint album titled X. Uh, fittingly enough, it is their 10th studio album. Uh, pretty impressive for these guys. Uh, I've been following them for quite, for a few years now. Um, their last album, The Poison Red, uh, wasn't that big on just because I thought it wasn't, uh, it didn't really, nothing really jumped out at me that much. A lot of it was similar sounding, not a lot of like hooky stuff on there. But um, I gotta tell you guys, this is a really good album. Really good album. I'm gonna. I'm. I've given them lots of credit here. I think it is a huge step up from their last stuff, from all from all the previous albums for that matter, um, all the recent stuff. I think this is a huge step up. Um, they're just honestly. I I would say I I like every song on this album. I don't think there's a bad song on here. And uh, if you guys watch my videos, especially within the last couple weeks, uh, you'd know that that's not exactly a common thing for me to say. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would say that's the case with the song. Uh, I would say the only song that I'm not really, there's, a, I'd say there's only one song that I'm not like really hooked on right now. So that's good. Or, or have been hooked on within the past few months. Cause, uh, three of the songs have already been released, but, uh, yeah, without, um, without waiting anymore, let's get right into it. Uh, with the first song, Empty Batteries. Uh, immediately, uh, such a such a jam of a song. I love the opening. How it's got a it's got a really like almost like a melancholy feel to it. It's uh it's got a really dark opening, and then that monster of a riff just kicks in. The drums kick in. Sounds awesome. Love it. And uh, it just got it's such got high energy to it. The chorus is a a bit more melodic, but it's it's just got it sounds so full. It sounds so huge, and I love it. And um, then you got Chaos and Earthquakes, the second song on here, one of the uh, one of the first singles released. Um, again, uh, this one does a really good job of balancing the melodies and uh, and the aggression on this one. Uh, immediately it starts, it's a bit more on the melodic side. It kicks in. It's got this really groovy, catchy riff that I really like. One of my favorite riffs on the album, definitely. And then um, it just does a really good job of going back and forth between the melodies and the and the heavy parts. So uh, well done with them on these two songs, definitely. Um, then we get into Fix This. Fix This, uh, that's, Fix This is unfortunately the one song that I didn't really get hooked on that much. Um, it just, I don't really think it has that good of a hook. Uh, it doesn't really just, it doesn't, it just doesn't really jump out at me. Nothing about it really jumps out at me. Um, it just, unfortunately, I just think it's a bit boring. But, uh, that's, unfortunately, this is really, that's really the only song on here that I could say that about. Uh, next up we got Crashing. It's got a bit of a somber intro. And then it, uh, it it kicks in. The drums sound great. The guitars sound great. The vocals sound great. I really love uh I really love the, the the rhythm of the vocals on this song. I think the especially in the verses. That's one thing that um, Elias Elias Sor Soriano I think his name is or Sorino. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. <laughs> but that's one thing that uh, Elias does really good on this album is he he really does a great job of some great rhythm with his raps. And his cleans too, for that matter. He's got such a, he has, he's his vo his voice is just so versatile. He can rap, he can sing clean, he can uh, he can do these he can do these like anthemic clean vocals. He do, he can do soft clean vocals. He can scream. He can pretty much do anything as far as vocals go, which I really like. And uh, this song is one of the best examples of that. And um, and this 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 is definitely definitely one of the best ones on here. Uh, I really like the I really like the production on this album too. The production sounds great. I love just in that verse when the bass drums and when the whole when that whole rhythm section just kicks in, like, and it's got that chunk to it, like under the vocals. I just think that sounds awesome. It's just so like impactful. It makes you it makes you want to just like, it, it just gets you so pumped. I just I love that. Uh, we got passive aggressive, which uh, again one thing I really like about this album as well are the intros. There's some really cool different intros on here. Like I said, empty batteries got that more melancholy. Um, like almost medieval sounding intro there. Crashing's got the more samba one, and this one has this like it's got this choir. Almost sounds like something you'd hear in a church, which uh, and that I just I really like that. That's not something you hear in a lot of songs, especially in the metal genre. And um, that was just such a great addition to the song and a great way to start it off. And it's one of the heavier ones too because it kicks into this awesome riff uh, with some double bass drums in there from Rob. Um, it just such a great song, and then uh, the, the chorus goes melodic again. This is another song that does a really good job of balancing the aggression and the melodies, um, just like very similar to Chaos and Earthquakes in that matter, except it's a bit more on the heavier side, in my opinion. 
Uh, and then we got Dodger Destiny. Dodger Destiny, uh, another one of the first singles that came out, same day as Cast and Earthquakes. Um, and this is just such a beast of a song. Beast of a song. I love the drums on this song. Rob Rivera does a phenomenal job with the drums. I love the, the fast skank beats in there. There's some double bass work in there. Just like some... I really like it. I really like doing a... Cause it's, I'm obviously a drummer too. I really like... Whenever, whenever I'm recording stuff or just jamming, I always throw some little like bass drum like flams in there and uh, he does that a lot on this song so uh, i really I, this is just a song i really love jamming to i love the like i said i really like the skank beats in there if um if you don't know what those are it's basically the part in the song that's uh, it's the first drum part you hear in the song basically that's what a skank beat is uh, he does so he does a great job of he actually reverses from he has a reverse skank beat an inverse skank beat and then changes it to a regular skank beat which i really like um that just I, it's just a, a very good change and it, it flows very well um, this is, I really, I just really love the drums on this song. I gotta give hats off to Robert Bear on this song. Definitely best drum performance on the whole album here, and uh, the song as a whole is very good as well. Uh, definitely has my favorite riff on the album too. The guitar work here is phenomenal as well. Uh, BC Kajmit, obviously new to the band with their last album. Uh, honestly, I didn't think I think he could have done better than he did on the last album. And uh, of course, this song comes, and that is that's what I was waiting for when I when I heard he was gonna be. <laughs> Uh, coming into the band, this song, that immediately that that riff, that just chunky, thrashy sounding riff, just sounds so so freaking cool. I love it. And then uh, everything about this song, I love. There's just this this might be my favorite one in the album. Uh, then we got Wheel Against Will, another cool intro. It really hooks you in. It's got some groovy drums. Um, you got Milestone, another really cool hook. I love the bass in that intro. That like that you know. Like, you know, funky sounding bass. You want to just do that when you hear it. It just sounds like, oh, I, lo I love that. Uh, Feel the Way I Feel, another great song. Uh, one of the more melodic ones. But uh, again, does a great job of hooking you in. It's something that we haven't heard still. We got Position One, another great song. This one I get corn vibes from, actually, especially in the chorus. I think um, I think Elias's vocals have a bit of a Jonathan Davis sound to them. Uh, let me know if you can hear that, too. Maybe it's just me, but... Uh, I can I can definitely hear a corn influence on the uh, on the song overall, and I love I, overall I just love the rhythm section on here that chunk right when you get into the song and in the chorus too, and then finally you got paralyzed awesome way to close the album I just I love I just love this song this is definitely my favorite one that wasn't a single um, this, this is just such a great song it's more melodic but I love everything about the song um, the backing vocals on this song are really up front which I really like I just. I, I always love when the backing vocalists get a time to shine. Um, I believe I believe that's uh, that's Rashid singing in the background. I'm not 100% sure, but I, uh, I believe that's him in the chorus, I should say. And overall, I just love the, the uh, versatility in the song. Um, I love the different structure it has to it, where it's got it's got the intro, that's like a chorus. You got a verse, and then you got like that intro again. There's not, it doesn't, it's not the actual chorus yet. Then it goes to another verse, and then it's got an actual chorus. I just, I like, I like that sort of switching it up a bit there. And um, overall, this is just a really great song. This is just a phenomenal song and a great way to end the album. A great way to end a really great album that I think is uh, in content, in content, definitely in, definitely a top five album of the year for me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 26 out of 30, just because I think um, the only the only reason I, I'm I'll give this a, a little bit of loss of points is because I think some of the the only thing I think could have been better is I think some of the choruses blend together a little bit. And like I said, the song "Fix This" didn't really do much for me, um, so uh, that's that's really the only reason I couldn't give it a perfect 30 out of 30. But uh, like I said, this is a huge step up from their pre from their last few albums. Uh, definitely an album that I will be listening to a lot in the next uh, in the next few weeks and uh, the next months and years to come. This is just a great album. Props to Nine Point on this. Props to all the guys. Um, it's just a great album. So many great songs on here. So uh, that's about it. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you uh, let me know what you think about this album in the comments, um, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.